So, if you don't know, the lead writer from Avatar The Last Airbender has been working on a show for Netflix called The Dragon Prince. The trailer came out a few months ago and showed some good promise. Well, just today, or yesterday, the entire season dropped on Netflix, and it is getting some stellar reviews. So I got around to watching the first episode, and I thought it'd be good to make a quick impressions video to let you all know if it's any good. So this won't be your average review, and more of my overall thoughts on the first episode. I'll try not to spoil any story, but I will be using clips from that first episode, so be wary. Animation. I really like the animation style of this show. All the characters look really nice, well drawn, and very sharp. It's not your average animation, the style is very unique, and it's drawn in a way that shows that this show is really going to have some depth to it. Definitely reminds me a lot of Avatar. Now the actual animation however, is not so good. The frame rate is really slow, and the first 5-10 to 10 minutes of the episode felt really jittery. I don't know if I just got used to it, or if it actually got better over the course of the episode. But to improve their animation, they really gotta increase their frame rate. Because the drawings look good, but they're just not animated as well. Environment The environment we are placed in is one of magic and mystic arts that sits right alongside normal humans. This is a really cool idea, and I don't think I've seen a show implement it quite in such a way. It shows the struggles of humans as they live alongside the elves and the dragons of the world. The glimpse we get into the first episode really focuses on the upper class of humans, the king and the king's guard. We don't really get to see any quote unquote normal humans, and so I'm hoping that the rest of the show kind of fleshes that out a bit. But the environment is definitely one of the highlights. They can do some great things with this, as we've seen in shows like Adventure Time and Avatar. A good environment provides the foundations for a good show. Characters and story. The story definitely seems to have some grip to it. As always, we are greeted with minimal story in the first episode. Similar to the beginning of Avatar though, the episode starts with a retelling of the events that led us to this moment. I can definitely see the story going far from here, especially with the character cast. The characters Rayla and Callum are really given some good development. We get to see their inner characters and the struggles that are going on inside their mind. This really sets up the show and allows them to build up nicely from this. The other characters however, Ezrin and the King, aren't given much story to build on, but I can definitely see them becoming key characters. Sorin, however, this guy looks like a brat, and I don't like him all that much. I really hope they improve his character in some way. Overall, I think this show has some promise. It draws a lot of parallels from Avatar, and I think that's a really good thing. Aaron Ehas made Avatar a really great show, and hopefully he can do the same with this. What do you guys think? Should I do episode reviews after I watch the series? Make sure to let me know down below. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this. A bit of a different video, but don't worry, my part 4 of the Adventure Time finale review is coming soon. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and until next time. Oh, oh.